name is Jeff Lang. I'm the consultant liaison and training manager for Avion. Today I'd like to show you how easy it is to set up a Pro64 network. We'll also cover how to assign channels to slots and the basic topologies that a Pro64 network will operate in. We'll be talking about an auto mode system today primarily. In an auto mode system, the topology is unlimited. You can wire it as a daisy chain, you could wire it as a star, or you can do any combination of those together. The equipment we have here is configured in a standard 32 by 16 format, with this side representing the stage and this side representing the front of house. At the stage rack, we have a 6416M remote controllable microphone preamp, a 6416I line input module, a 6416O output module for auxiliary returns, and an ASI for converting Pro 64 back to Pro 16 for the monitor mixing system. At the front of house rack, we have a 6416O for analog outputs to our console, a 6416DIO for AS3 input and output, a 6416I for inputs to aux returns to the stage, an MH10 merger hub, which we'll be taking in and out of the system at various points today to show its functionality, and also an RCI and an MCS for remote control of the mic preamp. Here's a line drawing of the system we're going to be using today. Content is being provided at the stage side by a hard disk recorder. We're going to spin the racks around and give you a view of the back panel of the equipment. Each Pro 64 device has two ANET ports, one labeled A, one labeled B, but in auto mode they're interchangeable. Our first example is going to be a daisy chain topology as shown in this drawing. To create the daisy chain, Simply plug the boxes into each other. As you notice, it doesn't really matter if I go from A to A or B to B. And finally, the cable that goes to our front of house rack. We've completed the wiring of the front of house rack as shown in the drawing we looked at previously. As you'll note, the MH10 merger hub is not in the system right now because we have wired it as a daisy chain. If a star topology best suits your application, we can do that as well by incorporating an MH10 merger hub. The MH10 has 10 ports on the back that allows you to form the star topology by simply plugging the devices on the network into the merger hub. And finally, the cables to the stage rack. Now that we have the network wired, we need to assign one device as the control master. To assign the device as the control master, simply flip dip switch number 10 into the on position. Any I.O. device in a Pro 64 network can be assigned as the control master. Once the control master is assigned, the only thing left to do is power the network up. As power goes to each device, it communicates with the control master and the control master assigns it a place in the network. Once the blue ANET light is lit, the device is configured and on the network. That's it. The network is configured. There's no IP addresses to worry about or assign. Simply turn it on and the network configures itself. Now we're going to route channels in and out of the network. As you can see, we have audio content routed to channels 1 through 8 on the 6416M and 9 through 16 on the 6416I. To assign these channels into the network slots, simply turn the channels on, and now these channels are available for output anywhere else on the network. For this demonstration, we'll set the slot range on both input modules to slot range number 1. This means that the audio channels will be inserted on channels 1 through 16 of the network. By simply changing this parameter on one of the devices, the audio channels could be inserted into slots 17 through 32, 33 through 48, or 49 through 64 of the network. Now that our channels have been assigned into the network, we can output them at the front of house rack. It doesn't matter that the input channels came in on two separate input modules, they can all be output onto one output module. If you need to create a split to recording or broadcast, simply turn those output channels on somewhere else in the network. I could also turn the outputs on on this side of the system. 
It doesn't matter where the channels come in, they can be output any place in the network. They can come out line level, mic level, or AES3. It can even go into a Yamaha console through the card slot. In summary, to set up a Pro64 network, all you have to do is plug the boxes in, assign a control master, route audio in, route audio out, and you have a network. No computer necessary, no IP addresses to lose, fail, assign, it just simply works. ANET and Aviom's Pro64 audio networking offer unprecedented simplicity, flexibility, fidelity, and reliability.